Good afternoon for you, good morning for me. Let's see if she wants to start this morning. Ah! Quick little change in plans, fam. I was gonna do the injectors on this truck this morning. However, here's the issue. I looked in my little box of stuff for the injectors and I don't have any crush washers for the, it's kind of like a banjo style feed line that runs across all six of the injectors. That kind of runs alongside all the tops of them. And I don't have new little, I want to I want to call them crush washers, but I'm not sure if that's a technical term for them or not. They're kind of like a horseshoe shape, but they've got like a feed through spot for the little banjo bolts to go through on each side and kind of pinches up against the fuel line and the injector. I don't have any new ones of those. And so what I'm going to actually do, we're still going to have the injectors done, but I'm actually going to take the truck down to Red Key, show the set that I have to Jim down there, ask him if I have everything that I need or not, or if it's necessary to have those replaced or not. And then uh, if he says, no, you're good, you've got everything you need, then maybe when we get the truck back, swap those out, unless he'll just do it for hardly any charge increase, then maybe I'll just have him do it because he knows what he's doing. We don't have a lot of time to get this done and we've got to get it done. And the other thing is too, if for some reason I don't have all the proper parts and then I'm like trying to reprime the truck and it's leaking fuel or something because I didn't, you know, I don't have new crush washers and for some reason it's not sealing all the way and it's just spraying fuel or something weird or leaking injectors and not starting up right. We don't really have a lot of time to get this thing done today because I do have to get it down to Red Key today. So I gotta get go to my dad's, pick up his King Ranch. And I'm gonna borrow that for today. I was gonna use a Cadillac to haul this down to Red Key because I have pulled this truck behind the Cadillac before on about a 20 minute trip. And let's just say this, um, it's super unsafe. <laughs> uh, it, we, we did it and it worked, but the Cadillac has technically rated for like 8,500-ish pounds, and this truck right here alone weighs 7,400 pounds on like a half tank of fuel, and the trailer weighs 2,700 pounds empty. And some quick math tells you instantly that that's right at the 10,000 pound mark or so, and technically that's at the trailer's limits, and that's technically exceeding by a whopping 1500 pounds technically exceeding the car's safe towing and hauling limits would the Cadillac probably be fine on the trip yeah but I got to haul it down there and I got to haul it back and since it's like an hour hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes I would just feel better if I had a heavy-duty truck doing that so I asked my dad if I could borrow his King Ranch for the day because currently I still have not decided on what truck I want to get next to start tinkering around with. I know what the comments are going to say. Oh, use Rosine, use Rosine. Rosine doesn't have a hitch on it because my wife wanted a roll pan. <laughs> so we've got a roll pan on her truck with no hitch. So let me show you what I was talking about here with Rosine. This looks awesome, by the way. Ah, man, I do. Guys, I don't know. I Part of me wants to have my own truck to call my own to daily drive, and part of me is just like, I just don't need one. But, um, that's what I meant by no hitch on Rosine. There's literally no hitch on the truck anymore because we did the roll pan on it, which is still going to get painted. The truck is so freaking clean, though. I mean, this truck is one of the cleanest second gens around this area. And this thing technically does have a hitch. We've hauled a truck with it before, but it's just not safe technically with the load that we would be hauling plus the Cadillac would be loaded down inside all of our luggage and all of our stuff in the trailer with a truck on it a lot more than I would want to haul going that far if you read the forums on these cars you're like oh don't haul over 5,000 pounds because you know the factory trailer equipment and hitch and all that other stuff technically isn't really good for it even though the car's capable of it it's not technically rated for it with the equipment they give you you know I, I've done it it's probably not the safest thing, but I thought probably don't want to push my lock. So the wife is actually going to be taking her second gen today, so I'm going to get it started up. But I haven't done a cold start since I did the new starter and batteries in this thing. I guess I kind of did on the day that I put the starter in for the first time in the new batteries, but I'm going to give it a good old cold crank here. And this starter sounds different than the last one did. The last one didn't start, the last one didn't sound quite quite as good as this last starter. It was pretty old and wore out, but here we go. Cold 
start season. <laughs> oh wow. Give her another crank. It's cold, it was 28 this morning. start right there. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Toronto way to go get to King Ranch now. I hope you guys understand why I didn't try to install the injectors this morning like I was planning to. Just the last thing I need is for something else to go wrong before I can get that thing loaded up on a trailer and somehow don't make it down to Red Key on time and then I'm wasting their time as well. I uh, hopefully you guys understand that. We're either gonna have them try to install them and if or if they say they can't or they won't then we'll install them when we get the truck back. Well Picking up the Ford. Cadillac's dropped off so Dad can use it for the weekend. Oh, I forgot. The remote start doesn't work anymore since he got the truck deleted way back. Because of that, an engine light came on, and since the engine light came on, remote start doesn't work. We'll still get it. <laughs> So we've got the King Ranch here, we've got the trailer hooked up, everything's hooked up, wired up, chained up. We should be ready to attempt loading up the first gen, so we're gonna see how this thing fits once we get it pulled up to the wheel wells of the trailer. shut the truck off and put it in gear so I could check to make sure it's gonna clear or if it's not gonna clear I want to know it's gonna be tight for sure um, man this side it's touching okay it's just touching like it it's it's just starting to rub on this side it's not quite touching but it's gonna it's gonna touch so I'm gonna roll a little bit more. If it just hardly rubs against the fender, it's not gonna hurt anything too bad, but if I feel like it's starting to pinch and like I'm having to force the truck on through, then I'm gonna just, as soon as it starts feeling like that, I'm gonna just back it off. So let's just hope that it eases its way through nice and easy, not too snug. Um, it definitely touched. I mean, it definitely touched. I kind of turned the wheel over a little bit too far to this side once I got past the fenders, but it fits. It fits. Truck is all strapped down, ready to go. King Ranch is all loaded up. Just uh, sitting a little bit low. Not bad, really. It's just mostly the four inch lift being absorbed a little bit on the rear end there, but. Uh, not bad, not bad. Trailer sitting real level. Sitting nice and flat. We got our five inch drop hitch since we had a four inch lift on the truck with bigger tires. Figured a five inch drop hitch would do the trick for this to help it sit a little bit level versus, you know, having it look like hitch from the truck and the tongue of the trailer come up to like a mound up in the center because, you know, you get a lifted truck, you don't have a drop hitch, and then you got your trailer and it's leaning and you don't want to get into the whole fishtailing game. It looks good. Everything's all strapped down, four different points. 
I think we're good to go. So this is all you're gonna see of the resto gen until we get it back. I'm glad that I didn't decide to do the injectors this morning because it's already one o'clock and I'm supposed to have this down there before five. By the time I get all packed up and we get on the road here, we're gonna be cutting it close. That's it for the video for today. Do not forget though that today is actually your last day to get 5X entries towards winning this truck plus $5,000 cash. It ends tonight at midnight, the 5X entry deal, and then 5X entries are gone. But of course, you only need one lucky entry to win. It's not a matter of who gets the most entries is gonna necessarily win. It's really just a matter of who happens to have the odds in their favor and that one entry happens to be theirs that gets drawn to win them the truck that we're giving away that month and the cash. So if you guys haven't done so yet, head on over to lmpgear.com, grab a hoodie, a shirt, a keychain, a hat, a decal, whatever the case may be, grab anything off the store, and as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win this truck plus the five grand, but you're running out of time. Only, I believe, eight days left to enter to win this truck, and then the giveaway is gone. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.